hello welcome to this video in this video we're going to be talking about editing on kind master let's get right to it so right now we're in kind master and then we're going to go ahead to import our footages or our clips so that we can start working with them so first thing you want to do is go to the media tab okay you want to go to the media tab you want to go to all and then here you have you're going to see a list of all the videos that you have um, on your phone i'm going to go ahead to select them one after the other starting from um this video that says 0004 um this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so i before now i had already arranged the videos according to how i plan to edit them well according to how i shot them okay so um, i want to edit them in the order that i shot them of course but you can still you can still go ahead to reposition them in your timeline just in case you're not comfortable with the arrangement but i already have my arrangement here and i'm good with it so i'm just going to go ahead to edit so i'm just going to close this and i am here so the first video that shows is this and followed by the second one and then the next and then you know the next so we're going to talk about transitions first um if i play the video you're just going to see how they move so it has moved to the next video and then the next video and then the next video right so the movements are boring so we want to add transitions in between now transitions are effects that you add between one clip um, to the other clip so for example if we touch this plus icon right here we have a list of transitions that we can add um, and then um, if you don't like the ones we you have here you can go ahead and go to the, the store and download more transitions in the store here you you have a whole list of transitions that you might want to use um i like this so i'm gonna, gonna go ahead and then let me just get some other ones okay i like this so i'm gonna download this Um, yeah that's downloading let's see the action okay you can get this um, let's get this get this yeah I like that all right so let's look for a couple of more and then we we go to edit I want this like this all right so I think this will do we just go ahead and close the tab so right now all you have downloaded is in your transitions tab now how you get there is you just have to touch the plus icon in between clips this one right here I'm just gonna go ahead and tap this and uh, for this one I I will use this Alright, you see how that looks? That looks nice. If you go ahead and play, it should look like this. Ok, 
okay now I'm gonna go to the next one just hit the plus icon um, because of the next clip okay this is a clip of water pouring the next clip is this so out I can look for something that relates both clip um, I could do I could do this and then you just select one of the presets this can work yes that works so then we have this okay and then I'll go to the next one and then um, I'll look at the next clip this is spinning so I want to use something that is spinning blind lights and this that should do all right now I want to go to the next one still spinning so I'll just go here and um, I'm gonna look for something that is spinning again all right this would do yes that would do all right so next one okay this is fire all right so let me look for something that will match that I could do mm. all right let me do this clockwork one I could do this or let me make it go upwards yeah like this all right so the next one yeah all right let's do something with this clockwork let me make it go in this direction yes do so this all right next is this so let me do something downwards say this downwards yes I can work all right let me use this pixel swipe this is going downwards yes that can also work all right for the next one we have this all right for this let me use something really simple so i'll go down to classic transitions crossfade let me do a crossfade yes that can work let me see if fade through colors all right now let me use a crossfade and then for the next one okay let me use um, zoom glitch yeah that works all right so right now i'll play our video so we see what we have Alright, so I want to reduce the length of this of this transition so that um, you can have it coming shorter. So if I tap the transition, I can reduce the length here. Yeah. So let me set it at 0 0.5. So now this is our transition. Yes, so I want it to come really quick there. All right, so that does it for transitions. You can be really, really creative with using transitions in Kind Master. It will depend on how you shoot. You can do your shot in a way that you can use a transition to come in or go out. Now, um, let's talk about fading. 
fading clips say fading the beginning and the ending of clips um there in our last video we looked at introduction to kind master and we talked about the setting tab all right so before then if you play a video it just starts like this and if you go to the end you realize that it also just ends like this so i want to fade the beginning and the end of this video i just go to settings go to videos turn on the fade in and the fade out uh, usually you want to leave it at two seconds unless you want it more so i'm going to leave it at two seconds right now see how our video fades in yes i like that and let's see how it fades out beautiful all right so we have that i'm just going to zoom out with two fingers all right so this is our timeline this is all the video all right so the next thing we want to do is reduce some clips i want to show you how you can speed up certain clips or make them go slower so for example this particular clip right here it's quite long i don't want it this long i want it to be shorter but i don't want to lose any part of it so i can speed it up what i have to do is tap it and then go right here to where you have speed yes right here so what you have to do is tap the speed and then you want to um if you this is it's on times one or one times if you make it four times it's going to go really really fast so um we can just use the slider here if you take it if you take it towards this way it goes fast you take it towards this way it goes slow so let's take it let's make it fast so i'm going to set that at 1.5 and you see automatically that the clip reduces size but it goes faster now right so i'm going to go ahead and play that okay so that works for me and then i want to go ahead and also do the same thing to this clip um let's let's see the clip so i want this clip to go faster also i'm just going to tap the speed and then make that make it two all right so this is how it looks Okay, it's not playing very well in the software but by the time I export it it's gonna play way better than this right so let me let me make that 1.5 or in between 1.5 and 2 all right so we have this all right so this clip also is long I want to do the same thing to this so I'll just make this 1.5 then we have this now this clip already was taken as a time lapse the time lapse is a video taken over a period of time and then um, gets speed up All right so um, I didn't have to do this my phone did this automatically so um, I already have this playing fast and then this all right so let's go ahead and take a look at the video all right just hold on there i want to make the the clip with the fire i want to make it a little slow since it's short um before that before that i want to reduce the transition time make that one also make the next transition that comes after that also one so it gives the clip enough time to play right so I'm going to go ahead and tap the clip, the clip and then make it a little slower. Yes. 
so we have this yes beautiful all right so let's finish the video And that's the end of this video all right so the next thing you want to do is maybe add a soundtrack or add an extra music um, now usually for iPhones it might be it might be a challenge since iPhones don't allow us to save music on our phones um, you, you can't have a playlist and all of that so there is one way to do you can go to your files and share the particular music and share it to kind master and then you see it just appear here that can work or you can go ahead and download whatever music that they have here to use for your videos so we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead to look for something that that would you know suit our video say lo-fi i like lo-fi let's see this the next one So all I have to do is tap it, tap plus sign or icon, and then you already have your music down here. Now you notice the music is longer than the video, you can tap the music and split it, right? And then you want to delete this one, the selected one. All right, so right now we have our music in our video. so um that's it about adding songs if you want to record you can go ahead and click the record tab here the moment you start it's going to start recording so you can use your mic and record your voice into your videos say maybe you want to do an illustrative video like what i'm doing right now so you can talk into your videos and just have it recorded so i'm not going to record anything for now so i'll just go back if you want to add the layers maybe a picture layer you can do that or you can also still add another video on top of this one by going to the layers tab clicking media media will let you add another video on top of this one so i can click this and you would notice that there is a video on top of this you can get really creative with this depending on what you want to do if i tap the video i can zoom it in to fit the frame you know you know i can make that go as far as i want it to go by holding the yellow um the four dots on the yellow um line um okay this video only plays this long so i can reduce it i can reduce it or increase it okay so i don't want this video there so i'm going to delete it 
let's see if we can add something to our video see maybe an effect okay we have this effect blur effect i'm going to make the video blur in so i'll just add this blur effect so i'm going to zoom the blur effect so it covers all of the video and then i'm going to go into the effects go to settings increase the blur strength so we'll have our video like this <laughs> is too long so i'm going to reduce it i'm going to reduce this here and then we'll see so the blood just cuts off i want the blood to fade out so i'm going to tap it you see right here in animation out animation now in animation is how the blood comes in out animation is how the blood goes out so our uh, in animation is not relevant here because the video starts off black but out animation is so we'll tap out animation and click fade right we want it to fade say 0.5 and then go back now this is how our video comes in okay that's about adding effects we can go ahead and add text so um let's see how to sorry how to make pancakes oh my mistake there sorry pancakes right so i can hold this and move this to after the blow so we have this come out like this this is boring right so let's make our text more interesting I want to reduce the length of that i want to go ahead and change the font to something really something really attractive could you use this let's see how this works okay this is not bad not bad at all so right here you have different settings um, option for what you might want to do now we can make our text fade in and also fade out with our in animation and out animation now um, we can also change the color of our text to say whatever color you choose but I'm going to pick this for the purpose of this video and then let's see what else we can do we can add outlines i'll enable this i'll make the outline white so we have this well that's too that's too much so i'm just going to make this okay i can reduce the weight yes i can make this like this all right i like this and then you can add shadows you can add shadows you can make the shadow you can put whatever angle you want on it you can make it spread and then you can also increase the size so I'm just going to reduce the distance reduce the angle I think I'm fine with that you can also make the text glow right so let me choose the glow I'll choose a white glow um, okay the spread is too much so you just have to be creative with this so you can get something that makes sense and then um, you, you have text background full width you can choose to do this um, i can make my text black my text background black and um, what else can you do the opacity is um, now when the opacity is a hundred percent it's not going to be transparent Okay, but if I reduce the opacity, we're going to have a transparent background like this. Okay, I think this works. Just gonna go back and then um, okay, I think this does it. So we have this. Alright, wanna add one more text to the end of the video. 
let's see let's call this text thank you for watching so we're just gonna add text and say thank you for watching okay so we want to reduce this and then you want to make this fade in possibly fade out and then you just want to take this down maybe change the font to something simpler like this you want to reduce this it seems too long or too big rather I'm gonna put this somewhere here I think this does it for me so I want to go ahead and add the background um, full width okay this works all right so I think this is fine <laughs> Okay, so this is fine. Now I can also add stickers. Say this, for example, you're going to find a whole lot of stickers that you can add um, on your video. Uh, but I don't think I want to add any of these stickers now, so I'm just going to ignore that. You can also add pictures, right? So in your media, you can go ahead and select pictures. If you have pictures here, yeah, they'll, they'll just load up and then you're good. So, but for now, I think I'm fine with what I have here. So I'm just going to go ahead and export this. Oh, one more thing. We can make the audio also fade in and out by going to setting going to audio and then fade in audio fade out audio okay so this works i'll just reduce this to one second and then accept so right now i'm just going to go ahead i already know how my video looks I'm just going to go ahead and export by hitting here set this to fhd which is full hd 1080p always leave this at 30 take up the quality so you have the highest quality for this video and save as video you can go ahead and skip this all right so we're just going to go ahead and wait for our video to finish exporting all right now that our video has finished exporting we can go ahead and watch it that's our video i hope you were able to learn one or two things from this video if this video was helpful to you please leave a like and leave a comment and i'll respond to it as soon as possible and please don't forget to subscribe please subscribe thank you bye